Hello everyone, this is Mr. Buell. Today we're going to be talking about finding, do, uh, finding books from the Dewey Decimal System in our own library catalog. So last week we talked about the 10 sections of the Dewey Decimal System and what sort of subjects would belong to each of them. Now, last week when we talked about it, we were trying to work with um, a book called The Gingerbread Man Shelf Shuffle. And you, by reading the story, we found certain characters and where they would belong in the Dewey Decimal System. Now that we talked about things like that, today we're going to try and see if we can find a book from, from each section of the Dewey in our own library catalog and writing down the title, author, and call number of that particular book. Now, to help us out, I've included a brief description of some things that would fall within each section of the Dewey Decimal System. So, I'm going to demonstrate for you um, what to do when looking at this worksheet. So, like I said before, we're going to try and find a book from each section of the Dewey Decimal System. So, there's 10 different spots here for a title, author, and column. So the first step that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the section and take a look at the description because the descriptions are going to give us subjects that we can look up. And those subjects are going to help us find a book from that section. So for instance, the first one, general knowledge. So this is about computers, aliens, unexplained information, and facts. So we have a few subjects we could try. I could try one for computers or maybe one for aliens. Now, if for instance I want to try aliens and maybe I'm having trouble spelling something, I could cop I could highlight it like so and hit control C on my keyboard to copy. And in another tab where I have my library catalog open, I click in and hit control V to paste. And after I have my subject that will relate to my to the Dewey section I'm looking for, I can well, I can see the search results. Now here's the next thing that we have to do. So even though I searched up aliens, not every book that comes up is going to be a nonfiction book from the zero section. So what we have to do is we have to look at the call numbers. So as you can see, there are a number of them here that either don't have a call number or they have F, which stands for a fiction book. So that will not get us a book that we're looking for. What we have to do is look for a book that starts with the same number as the Dewey section we're looking for. So since I'm looking for a, zero, a book from the 000 section, I need to find one with a call number that starts with the number zero. And there so happens to be one right here at the top. This one here starts with a zero, which means it would be a part of the general knowledge section of the Dewey Decimal System. So knowing this, I could click on it, hit more details. I can either write down the title, the author, or the call number, and, and the call number of what book of this book because that will fit for my section or I can do what I did before when I got my search term. I can highlight each section and control C to copy and control V to paste. And it will give me all three things. And remember for the call number, make sure you include the numbers and letters because that's part of the entire call number. All right, so the next one is philosophy and psychology. So this is how people think and feel about the world and it also includes the supernatural such as ghosts. So one term that maybe I could pull from here is ghosts and I could search up something about that and try to look for a book that would relate to ghosts and starts with the number one. Going down to the next one is religion and from the 200s. So this is information about religions and mythology from around the world. 
So I could try maybe something for religion or mythology. See, I only need to try one to see if I can find a book from that section. Now, this is important, my friends. Make sure that you keep an eye on those call numbers. And even if you don't see one right at the top, that does not mean there is not one. You might have to look a little deeper into the research results. So for instance, for my one for aliens, say if I didn't find one at the top, I'd have to go scrolling down to see if I could find another one that I'd want. And sometimes the book might not be in the right Dewey section, so you have to keep an eye on the number. So just remember, make sure to keep an eye on those numbers and don't give up just because it's not there at the top. Sometimes you might have to search a little deeper. So the next one is the 300s. So the 300s is social science. This includes things like culture, military, holidays, and fairy tales. Now this one has a lot of things we could search for. I know that we have quite a number of military, holiday, and fairy tale books that would fit into the 300s section. So again, it's up to you to choose one of those, search it up, and find a book that would be from the 300s. So it would start with the, the call number would start with the number three. 400s, languages. So that's how people speak or communicate with each other through words, sign language, or foreign languages. So there's a few different types of things you do. You could just do a general languages or see if there's anything about sign language or foreign language. Because that's how it's about, what it's about, how to speak communicate. So you just look up one of those things and see if you can find a book that starts with a call number with a four. All right, our next one is math and science. So this is math and things about the natural world, such as wild plants or animals, space, and weather. So we have a number of things we can search from here, things like animals, plants, space, or maybe you could think about a certain type of animal or maybe something about space. And it will give you, see if you can find a book with a call number that starts with a number five. Then write down the title, author, and call number of those things. 600 is technology, so this is inventions such as machines, cars, cookings, and sometimes pets. So you have a number of things you could search up here. So again, things like machine, cars, cooking, or cookbooks, and try to see if we have anything about pets. And as long as it starts with the number six, that would be a, a book you can put in for the spot. Next is 700, so this is arts and games. So this is things we do for fun. So this includes things as like arts, crafts, sports, music, and games or video games. You can try searching up things like those to see if you can find a book with a call number that starts with the number seven. All right, so for 800, this is not a um, big section that we usually focus on, but 800 is the literature, so this includes things such as poetry, plays, speeches, and great writing. So I'd recommend maybe try something for poetry because it's a big type of writing you'd find in the 800 section. You'd probably find something, a book that would fit in for that. And then finally, the 900s is history and geography. So this is about history and famous people or places in the United States or around the world. So we have lots of things we can try. So maybe if you know a place that you might want to visit, like so maybe a certain country or a city, Maybe there would be a book from the 900s or people like you can try to find a biography, see if um, there's anything in our 900 section about famous people or just general history or things that happened in the past or places from the past like ancient Egypt or ancient Greece. You'll find they'll be in the 900s and as long as you check to make sure that book has a call number that starts with number nine, that would be a one for this particular spot. And those are our 10 sections of the Dewey Decimal System. So all it is about is we're trying to think about the subjects that each Dewey section <coughs> focuses on. And what we do is after that, we search them up in our catalog. We will look, see which one starts with the right numbers because the ones that starts with the certain number will be from a certain 
one of the 10 sections of the Dewey Decimal System. So I hope this helps you. And remember, if you have any questions, please let us know. I wish you the best of luck with this, and we'll see you again.